This part is so cool. We need more chimes in our music. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host and mega mind of the melodrama, Ken Levine. I'm a singer and vocal coach here on YouTube and today we are looking at Rush, closer to the heart. But before we do that, I'd just like to remind you all to please remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the great stuff that we talk about on this channel every week. And uh, yeah, that's not all we talk about. Uh, this particular video is brought to you by Skillshare. I keep working with Skillshare because they have loads of great classes on a huge variety of different topics that I'm interested in. I found this great course called Triple Your Typing Speed, The Ultimate Guide to Keyboard Mastery by Ali Abdal, popular YouTuber and a doctor, so a bit of an overachiever. Anyway, he knows his stuff and I've been following his course. You know, look, I'm seven modules in and I already feel a great deal more confident navigating the keyboard, especially after module four how to instantly boost your typing. You showed like six different keyboard shortcuts that totally blew my mind. I was like, the whole time? You, you mean to tell me this keyboard could do those things the whole time? Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for curious and creative cats on topics that range from electronics to painting, photography to graphic design and culinary art and the art of living. Now, if you're curious about Skillshare, join up and become a member using the link below. The first 1,000 people to use that link get a one month free trial of Skillshare. All right, so now with that all said, we are going to dive into Rush Closer to the Heart from 1977 from their album Closer to the Heart. This was standard issue to all of us knucklehead kids. In the 1970s, I remember listening to it at my buddy Craig's house. His older brother had one of those uh, stereos that looked like they were all spaceshipy and like silver and stuff. Very, very cool, very funky <laughs> looking. So cool, I thought it was so cool listening to this and moving pictures. Okay, here we go, three, two, one. No, <laughs> three, two, one. This video is from 1977. Chairman Mao! President? I don't know who that is. Jimmy Carter? And the men who hold high places Must be the ones who start To mold a new Love that 12-string guitar. Closer to the heart Closer to the heart Blacksmith and the artist Reflected in their art They forge their creativity Closer to the heart Yes, closer to the heart Alright, so cool. Uh, he's singing a really hard vocal line there. Beautifully melodic. Totally in tune. And playing a killer bass line at the same time. Yeah, the man is legend. I'm talking about Getty Lee. Okay. This part is so cool. We need more chimes in our music. Philosophers and plowmen Each must know his part To sow a new mentality Closer to the heart Okay, you had the nice slow build. We have the 12 string guitar coming back in here. Uh, excellent, excellent. It's just so smooth and stylish guitar solo there. Uh, so much to comment on musically though. This channel is mainly focused obviously on the vocals and Getty Lee in particular. He had such 
or has rather such a unique voice to begin with pulling it apart and saying okay well what is it that he's doing that's different from maybe all of the other vocalists of the same genre he because of the character and tone of his voice that very high pitched clarion tone almost like a, a tenorino or like male alto style voice he's able to leverage that higher pit the, the higher tessitura of his voice and be able to push it even higher in these rock ballads through something that he's doing that i, I I've been able to only glean recently as to how he's able to hit those pitches so effortlessly. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. I just want to hear us get back into the rest of the song. So, man, you know, I think this this particular song was written specifically for the radio edit. That three minute mark just comes in under three minutes, two minutes and fifty one seconds, as the lazy fade out starts or begins. And I, I just sort of think I, I was that's so unrushed. Like you would imagine that they could extend it out to five or six or seven minutes. Maybe that's what they did live. You know, a closer to the heart, um, epic drawn out drum solos in the middle of the song which would be so totally cool i'd love to hear something like that <sighs> alas um anyway i i just i just want to point out the the mystery of getty lee's voice and how it actually does what that how it makes that sound how he's able to coax those particular sounds is using something called aes area area epiglottic sphincter control or uh, what i often refer to on this channel as the pharyngeal voice this is um this is a high laryngeal position um able to sort of free up a lot of the tension that sometimes is accompanied from your vestibular vocal folds uh, no a lot of technical stuff but it's sort of it's a little bleaty and goat-like when you just sort of exhibit it raw so it's sort of ah, ah, closer to the heart that kind of tone or tonality now I'm no Getty Lee, obviously, but that's how he's able to get those tones as high as he can. And the benefit of utilizing that part of your voice or that ability of your voice to uh, have that higher laryngeal position is that it releases a lot of natural tension, uh, subglottal uh, breath pressure tension, and of course any tension that might a crew as a result of using your vestibular vocal folds okay science it's beautiful isn't it um now i i recognize that like rush isn't everyone's cup of tea but i think they're amazing and um i would love to hear from you tell me your rush stories or maybe you're just discovering them for the first time what are your impressions let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and hey maybe you are a vocalist and or you're trying to figure out your own voice and maybe explore some of this great music for yourself i strongly recommend you reach out to a combat vocal coach there might be one living in your area best way to learn is one-on-one -on -one. however times being what they are it's not not always possible you can certainly reach out to one of us here in youtubeville um, you don't have to work with me but if you'd like to work with me i'll be sure to leave my links down below in the description and as always please remember to hit the subscribe button notification bell uh, hit the thumbs up do all the youtubey things to help the channel out if you found any value in this video 
And as always, if you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.